No. <laughs> Okay, I, I was wondering who the Garsman was. Uh, I think I read a comment talking about how it's basically just a jab at how abundant Garsmen are and how they're never really like the focus of the story, but they're always kind of like there. We are so bold. You just did. You said the same thing last cycle. <laughs> well, we are. We always are. We get it. Shit is getting old. Well, well, uh, you guys aren't super boned, so that boned. might be. Species wide bonering. No. Boneration, my friend. I mean, as long as you guys don't bone each other, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> we don't need a, another chaos god coming out of the works. Absolutely 100% bound! Oh, come now, the vision was not that bad. We were getting slaughtered! Wholesale! Everyone! Nothing a few well placed Wraith Guard get us all. Oh! Oh! A few Wraith Guards, I see! So, the visions of our infinity circuits being smashed to the Dark Gods gloating over mounds of our slain broken bodies. Maybe just have a few more Wraith Guards lying around to deal with that. Is that right? It's a Wraith Guard. Slain or rest release. Maybe we've seen one before in the series. Were those just like the, the giant Titan creatures? No, machines, I guess, that they had. I think it was when the Ultramarines were going through the warp. Like, I barely know any of the terminology when it comes to the Eldar units because we don't really see them that much. Have the Eldar even appeared in any video game for Warhammer 40k? Because uh, I, I can't, can't recall one. Actually, no, wait, that's a stupid question. Of course they do. They appeared in Dawn of War. Probably, oh, what was that turn-based one? Gladius as well? I just haven't played those ones yet. Sleeping for an uh, ambush? There were Hellblades in our skulls! Fuck! Uh, well, it works for a craft for the Undon, does it not? That is quite enough screaming. Ah, uh, Syrian's ass, it's giving me a headache. <laughs> Syrian's ass. Excellent timing. As the wisest among us, perhaps you could offer some input into how bound we are. Does of currently. Oh yes, we are indeed bound. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> Why are you happy that you're right? We are super <laughs> <bound>. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey, as long as you're not super boned or boning each other, it's okay. You've got this. Huh? Hmm. Warlock, let me ask you. When the cutting blade falls, must the hands that wield it need still flow with the kiss of life? What? Uh, uh, I mean, that depends. Like, I... clearly not, but... <sighs> then that is the answer you see. Wait, but that does not... Eldred, come now. We're not on key. You do not have to talk like that. We, we don't do that <laughs> sin fairy shit we're going here. We gotta keep up appearances, you know. We're in the space cells, and we can only do that whenever they're looking. <laughs> we just talk normally when not being observed. It's like I told you. Ambush. Cutting a blade. Would you shut up? Eldred! <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, son of a Tarkarian whore! Damn! <laughs> That's one hell of an insult. <sighs> this really is not the time for tomfoolery, though. The despoiler gathers his forces in the eye. Not you! The children of man <laughs> stir and breathe anew. Eons of corrosion shuffle off. <laughs> and so, with this new era approaching, it is time to make our final preparations. Fuck you! Freaking Abaddon. <sighs> well, desperate times, I suppose. Let's see if those Eldara Thinius will play nice. Jeez. Oh, checking sp Is that Discord? <laughs> ah. I would... I would Abra. leave the call. Hello. Yeah, okay. 
fact. By the Muse's many murders, where have the centuries gone? What I is that? My <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Ours? Oh, clever. Bad dream again. You know, the homunculi I recommend a glass of freshly harvested desarticles mixed with just a pinch of splintermine. No themes, but... Oh, well, no. The last person I would ask for advice on herbal remedies. What? Oh, one moment, sorry, old driver. I was not talking to you. I'm at, I'm at a thing right now. We're in the middle of pin the tail on the monkey. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> they are so messed up, man. He's a fun color. <laughs> I'm not gonna even ask what the thing on the left is. It is just stuff of nightmares. Of course, my overlord. That? You know, I still do not understand you. Yeah, yeah. I can appreciate to an extent that you must indulge in malefic red room nonsense to live, but must you show such repulsive me in doing it? Oh, well, to yeah. be honest, now that you mention Okay, now that was a thing. Oh wait, what is going on here on the left? <laughs> when I initially got into 40k, I was like, oh, well, dang, it kind of sucks because, you know, they have to follow Sinesh and do all these hor horrible things. And then peeps in the comments were like, oh, no, 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 no. They enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eldar society becoming way too advanced for them to basically just not feel anything anymore. It was uh, not great. Not great for the Eldar and those who couldn't, uh, I suppose, have some sort of self-discipline or restraint. Restraint's probably a better way of putting it. This party is a bit of a bust. Do we always have the alcohol here on the chopping block if we know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I got a case. Do you mind if I step out for a moment? Not at all, Lord Vect. At your leisure. Oh, bless your heart, Archon. Do you know, really, you called it a good time, Eldred. The gas was about to pour in, and I was going to take my leave at any rate. The play-by-play -play is quite unnecessary, Vect. I can all too well imagine the atrocities you are committing. Oh, fine. I'd rather not Me imagine like it. That. Killjoy. I can't. No! Not like this! <laughs> Very well, then. Now that I have a free moment, let's hear what is bothering you so much. I'm all ears. I have had many premonitions, Vect, and as loath as I am to deliver it to you, here it is. Our race is doomed. <laughs> the Ranadandra is upon us, <laughs> I swear it to you. What's the Ranadandra? The Harlequins know it, I know it, and as much as I hate you and all the filthy, rocks-boning, doped-up, deviant, smackhead shit the Drukhari stands for, you need to know it too. Well... Kind of you to call in then, but is that not how things usually are? You prophesize yeah, in this, our race's demise. In the Sword K universe, everybody's you. doomed. As far as I'm concerned, things are going just dandy here in Camera. Perhaps your vision was a portent of your own personal doom? Hmm. Thanks for checking in though. Really, it is always nice to hear from the family. But please! How long do you believe your bubble of debauchery in Kamara will last you? <laughs> I am well aware that my premonitions of our species' demise hold little interest in your mind. I called you because it is serious and imminent this time. The genuine article, the Rana Dandra, the complete and total Slaneshi death boning that's oh, been- indeed, yes, yes, of course. And I suppose I should just dismantle my entire power structure, raise my yes. city to the ground, move mm -hmm. it all down to Oathway for a bit of prostration and brotherly love. Mm -hmm. so, you tell me, how many Blackstone fortresses should I bring? Azrubael, this is your last chance! Eldred, please, do not be hmm. so dramatic! Actually, are the, the Blackstone fortresses specifically made by the Drakari? I thought they were a chaos thing, just in general. I don't really know too much about the Blackstone fortresses, I think. It was specifically mentioned during one of these clips that I saw of, of like Henry Cavill just like pointing out a, a lamp or something and saying that it looked like a Blackstone Fortress. That chandelier looks like a Blackstone Fortress. <laughs> Actually, speaking of, was that the thing that crashed into Cadia? I think it was, or if not, it was a fortress of some kind. Heck. Surely you did not think I was vapid enough to get all riled up on your vague portents of doom, right? 
I've been around the bend more than enough time to take prophecies with a grain of salt. Mayhaps you should do the same. After all, you've got enough salt to fill a hollowed out craft well. Your willful idiocy never ceases to disgust. You do not even need to be psychic to see the writing on the walls. The Despoiler's 13th Black Crusade is coming. Ah, of course. What could the Despoiler's piteous goal be this time? 13, you say. <laughs> Imagine at the end of the crusade, they tease Skaven showing up in the 40k universe. <laughs> Bringing in the milk, perhaps. Not only that, but the void dragon stirs in its oh. slumber. Its shackles have nearly decayed. And as of this conversation, he remains asleep, right? The tower! Have you tried throwing wraith guards at them? That usually works. <laughs> Does it still work? Yes! I mean, I... Why are people on about wraith guards today? No, <laughs> I don't no, know! You know what? Okay, Listen. you know, I'm way too curious about this. What are Wraith Guards? The Wraith Guard of the craft world Eldari are not living warriors. They are artificial robotic constructs called Ghost Warriors, created from the complex psychoplastic material crafted by the Assyriani of the craft worlds known as Wraith Bone. Each Wraith Guard has a spirit stone containing the soul of an elite Eldari warrior that was drawn out of the Infinity Circuit of a craft world. I see. So they're vessels for. Wait a minute. Doesn't this basically make them pretty much the same as like um a dreadnought or maybe not? Maybe this kind of makes them more like uh the necrons because of the wraith bone being a much more resilient material than well uh, an Eldar flesh and blood soldier. Vect, listen, I hate you. I hate you and your stupid spiky city and your stupid spiky hat. So much. And I hate long drawn and speeches, self aggrandizing fops, think I'm inspiring. But ignoring my incandescent hatred for you, you are still Eldar. So I am trying to do you a favor for the first time. Is this accurate to how the craft world Eldar view their fallen brothers? Is there still some sympathy left for the Chikari, even though they commit these acts of atrocity? in however long it has been, no strings attached. That is proof enough I am earnest, is it not? Can you not at least hear what I must say without dismissing me? I, I can have the Harlequins approve the message in triplicate, quadruplicate, whatever would please you. Yes, yes, Eldrad, I know. I understand your meaning. The end of the MR race, ah! Maybe you even think that's true. But let me ask you, what is it not the end of the Eldar race? You know, living in this universe. Maybe you craft world is everything the end. Of your blase milkers ancestral circle jerk. You call a council and wisened up to the Drukari way of doing things. The orcs or monkai might be an endangered species instead of us. Oh, an excellent point. And maybe. If you death-faced helter skelter BDSM freakazoids stopped feeding Slanesh or yeah, even true. half of a femto second <laughs> way back when, we would not be in this mess to begin with. Yikes. That is true. Ten thousand years later, and you still not let it go, huh? Uh, uh, <sighs> okay, look, it's a pretty big blunder to make. Let's be real here. You literally created a chaos god. I truly. I'm at a word, a loss for dicks. <laughs> okay, that's great. Your depraved <laughs> lifestyle is what gave birth to the god creature that is actively eating our souls. Well, 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 Eldrad, you little punk. Owning up to your mistakes is the first step to being a better person. Everyone's journey starts somewhere. Perhaps that is a good place for you to start. Idiot! Let's not coming. listen to your advice. What's Yiniad? Blithering Codger. You actually need to tell me that old fairy tale has got you all up in arms again. An old fairy tale. Another drink. Now, please. A prophecy or something? I'm just now about to travel with the Harlequins of the Mask of the Midnight Sorrow to the moon of Goheria. A prophecy involving it is about to unfold. Whoa! Mm. One gel shot in and we are already using the P word. Does the P word prophecy. Any prophecy? To off on some well deserved vacay. 
I mean, I get it. If you wanted a few escorts to spice things up, you should have just told me. Coheria's surface has immense amounts of psychic residue covering it. We suspect the moon had been on the precipice of the ancient Eldari Empire before the birth of... Slanesh. ...thirsts. Yep. Thus, it ended up saturated with numberless grains of crystal when the eye opened. Ah, and I'm guessing they're not your garden variety magic crystals. Oh, this is something that uh, I forget where I learned about it from, but apparently because of the eye opening, there are some worlds in the 40k universe where it is illegal to look up at the sky, which is pretty funny and also kind of terrifying and very depressing. So it would make sense that just the energy of that blast would likely uh, cause some things to change depending on the planet or the moon or whatever. Pray tell, you are not traipsing around on fossilized fossils, are you? Crude, but not entirely incorrect. Mm, interesting. You know, you could sell the moon to me. Could probably set you up with a nice prize. The moon of Coheria will be our species' savior, Vect. Much like how a spirit seer calls upon the ghosts of long dead Eldar to enter wraith constructs, mm. we shall call upon the spirits dwelling in each infinity circuit. Every single Eldar to have fallen and joined the afterlife of their respective craft world, the sum total of ten millennia worth of perished Eldar, and channel them into the moon of Coheria. Oh, oh my. Oh, that That's is a lot crazy. of psychic power. Good liquor. Another dear heart. You heard him, Timothy. Pour the alcohol into his mouth. No, why do you have to say it like that? Yes. Oh my god. With every ghost <laughs> of every craft world temporarily joined as one, the moon of Coheria would turn into a psychic beacon so powerful it could wake the dead. Or more specifically, the god of the dead, Iniad. And Iniad. how, if I may ask, are you going to perform okay, such a Okay, the feat? god of the dead. I was going to say Nagash, but that's a completely different lore. <laughs> Above your psychic weight class, and a bit too risque for any decent entourage. My powers are indeed not enough, and no living seer would follow me into such a... Delightful controversy! Oh, do not say anything! I've already called it. You said no living seer, correct? Correct. Which, of course, who's not anyone one. but the dead? <laughs> you have gone and snatched up the crystallized seers of yours from each craft world to act as hyperspatial links to that dead dust moon of yours. Yes? I had Ingram Spectre bring the Mask of the Midnight Sorrow on a show tour to every single craft world across the Great Wheel to covertly enlist the aid of the most powerful seers in Eldar mm -hmm. history. And now, I am bringing them with me to Coheria. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Eldred. Well, I'm coming off the Hypex, which means I am done entertaining your crazy hoopla. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. Iniad is a myth. Nothing more. I'm more than a touch shocked you would call me about all this. It is surprising that this would be the attitude, considering that the Eldar gods do exist and we literally see avatars of Cain on a battlefield. Maybe Iniad is one of those that have fallen into myth rather than currently exists within Eldar society. Or perhaps the Jakari just don't care about stuff like this. If you are so far seeing, you would already know I'm not going to help you. I only need your hand in this one thing. This one singular thing, Vect. The Mon Key in the system must remain unaware of our plans, so to that end, I would ask that you send mm. some sort of force, it matters not how sizable, to pillage in and around the system. Damn. I do not care for what heinous acts your Kabbalites perform on its inhabitants, only that you keep them... ...preoccupied. Jesus. It makes sense, though. They are Eldar. They don't think uh, very much of us and literally call us monkeys, so... Just makes me even more intrigued. Like, the, the relationship between the Dark Eldar and the Craftworld Eldar. I wonder if deals like this do actually happen in 40k or if this is just specifically for TTS. The only other instance that I know of where a race has dealt with the Drakari was the Tau 
for their assistance with uh, uh, something. It's probably some sort of Tyranid invasion, maybe. But they quickly regretted that afterwards because, well, the Tau didn't really know about the, the Drukari and what they would do to their uh, envoys. Come now, who exactly do you think would interfere with operations on some derelict moon, huh? I have no interest, no need, to invest my troops in such an endeavor. But that... Besides, I'm sure you're already aware... Well... If a Space Marine chapter learns about anything the Xenos are doing, they will come to purge it, even if it will be in the service of the galaxy. I forget exactly which Space Marine chapter that was, but they did go in and they destroyed a Eldar ritual where they were attempting to summon a god or goddess back into the universe in order to uh, destroy Slanesh, essentially. Or at the very least, their existence would certainly help out with uh, the current state of affairs. But, of course, you know, they're filthy Xenos, we gotta purge them. Uh, but the demonic Monkai known as Magnus the Red had a huge majority of that wretched Imperial watchdog was thrown into the Imperium. So there's nothing to worry about, really. Oh, speaking of which, I am expecting some related company. So I'm going to have to drop the call, Eldrad. But, you know, I will send a pair of eyes and ears to record your wacky little misadventure. Should make for some delightful television, if nothing else. Here's looking at you, kid. You are infuriating! And you try my patience as well, Othran. I have attempted to remain as cordial as this volatile cocktail of chemicals and barbiturates will allow me. But you have once again pushed me to the very cusp of frothing rage. Not to mention, you are seriously taxing my data plan. Wi-Fi is not cheap my in common. data plan? You would not believe <laughs> the amount of soul stones I had to consume just to get the stove running. I pray oh Conrad my goodness. suffers a spinal disjunction soon, you voracious bone mongler. Bone mongler? I hope that too. I like that one. Okay, I'd write that one down. I'd like to use it again sometime in the future. <laughs> This is me learning some sort of insult from the show and being like, oh yeah, I gotta write that down and use it sometime later. <laughs> I would respond in similar fashion, but I really do not think I'm capable of that kind of nastiness. I have to keep my civilities, you know, be the bigger man. Yeah, sure. Every single time, man. Every single time. Whenever somebody says, you know what, I'm just gonna back off and be the bigger man here. If you're gonna be the bigger man, don't tell people that you're being the bigger man in that situation. It just makes you look like an ass. Put the monkey kick you on the way out. Well, guess we are doing this on our own. Can't believe you even bothered asking. Oh, you're what? actually here. Yes. <laughs> kind of a dick, is he not? You would know. I mean, we, we already know. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Salandri Vale Walker. What be up, Eldrad? I need you to inform that Mon Key Cypher that the operation is Cypher. about to begin. What? If things go haywire, you know how the plan goes. Wait! <laughs> I, the last time we got Cypher, didn't he sneak on the ship that the... Oh, what was it? Was it the Dark Angels? It's been a long time since we've seen that episode. They were so paranoid about searching for him and they did not recognize him at all when he snuck on their ship. So I guess we're gonna be picking up that plot point again. Goes, you coax the machine man on Mars into action. We Because of the void dragon. Sure thing, Farseer. Let's just hope he isn't a big bewildering bag of hooded dicks about it. I am sure he will it be. probably <laughs> will be, yeah. Catch you later. Most excellent. These Eldar look really Adrian cool Spectre. though, not gonna lie. Now let us go save the Eldar race. Murderific, my main mouth. <laughs> my main mouth? <laughs> Damn, what a bore. Your spikiness! Oh, watch Your yourself, spikiness. Well, I just had this Pagoda pressure washed. What seems to be amiss? Teens gate, sire! They have broken through! A horribly shiny goat guy in a walking chair has been located as leader of their forces! Goat guy? Really now? Well... The plan marches forward, it seems. Oh no, wait. Didn't the Ultramarines go into the webway to search for Jagatai Khan? Is that finally coming back up? It is high time for two emperors to meet. <laughs> wait, two emperors? You don't mean. No, you couldn't possibly. <laughs> 
So through. Been there before trying to do the evil laugh. Oh, so that's Timothy. Jeez.